we're here today doing a barn owl nest box installation. So you can see it just behind me over there. We've just installed Bob 1, which stands for Barn Owl Box 1. As we're removing those feral predators from the environment, we're able to start encouraging native predators back in. And the barn owl is one that fills the same sort of ecological role as the feral cat. And so putting them sort of close to sheep farming properties like Peter's property here is going to be really beneficial for landholders as we're taking out those cats. We can bring barn owls back in and hopefully help the barn owls out by giving them a nice place to nest and breed. And also, yeah, hopefully it'll give them the opportunity to bring lots of prey items back, particularly mice and rats, which will in turn help the sheep farmers. It's thought that barn owls will bring back a lot more mice than cats are able to, so that's a really good bonus. We've got 12 nest boxes that we'll be putting up all across the Dudley Peninsula. It does seem a little counterintuitive to not put it up in the tree. Um, we have a really healthy brush-tailed possum population on the Dudley Peninsula, and so just to keep them out of the boxes, we've put them on those steel posts, which will just mean that only birds will be able to access them, and yeah, things like possums and goannas won't be able to get in. We're hoping to put cameras on all of these boxes, um, so we're hoping to use 4G connected cameras. Barn owls in other sort of studies have been notoriously easy to spook off nest boxes, which is something we don't want to do if we get barn owls in the boxes, particularly with eggs or babies, we want to keep them there. And so using 4G connected cameras will mean that we can set the camera up and not have to go back and change batteries. The cameras will be connected to a solar panel. So they'll just completely run themselves. We won't have to come back and disturb them. And our 4G connected cameras are hooked up to an online artificial intelligence system. So all of our photos come through online. So we'll be able to log in to the system every morning and be able to look at each of our boxes and see what's been happening overnight, see if there's been hours or see if there's been something else visiting. Um, yeah, so we'll be able to monitor that in real time, which will be really exciting. There's a little perch out the front of the box, which is mainly for the fledglings. So when they exit the box and start sort of stretching their wings and learning how to fly, hopefully we we'll get some cool footage and photos of them out on the front of the box and yeah, get an idea of breeding success as well. So how many fledglings they have, that sort of thing. We're really lucky to have a bunch of landholders across the Dudley Peninsula that are really supportive. One of our main landholders, Peter Atkinson, who's from Atkinson Livestock, he got wind of the idea that came across from the York Peninsula. And so Peter actually applied for one of our grassroots grants. So that's the funding that has supplied these buy now nest boxes and we've been really excited to be able to help Peter implement these on the ground. If we're able to support local landholders to do something like this that they otherwise wouldn't be able to do, I think that's really cool.